Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Being cooped up at home during the pandemic has really been tough on kids and their parents. But if you hope to get your child in a summer camp, you may already be too late. Jonathan Gold, executive director of the New Jersey Camp Association, says his camps already have a long waiting list. Thanks so much for talking to us. I understand that because of the pandemic, and I guess the the wish to get out of the pandemic, there has been um, increased enrollment in summer camps. Could you explain that? Uh, we've seen some really unusual activity in day camps in New Jersey. So, and you have to keep in mind that um, each camp, we're not restaurants, so the state hasn't said to us, oh, you're at 50% or you're at 40%. Each camp is sort of restricted in numbers by the regulations and its own facilities and how many kids you can say eat lunch at one time or get in the pool at one time. So we are, you know, somewhat restricted in size. But that being said, um, we're seeing parents are really, really dying to get their kids into camp. And I run three camps in the state and we're all on wait list at this point. Give me one camp, for instance, that has a wait list. How many kids have been accepted there? How long is the wait list? Wow. Okay. So uh, we run a camp in, in South Jersey in Wall Township, and that was the first one to go on. And they were the only camp in their area that opened last summer. Um, and they were they were on wait list at the beginning of March, uh, pretty much at operating capacity. And they have over 300 kids on the wait list now. The interesting thing is not only are we seeing demand in camps, but we're seeing people's plans change. Like, more people are more comfortable going on vacation. So somebody will say, hey, can I take these two weeks off? And then those two weeks will open up. And where we, we might not be able to offer eight weeks for someone, we can say, hey, you can get your, your fifth grade boy in at week one, five, six, seven, and eight. We operated last summer and most camps in New Jersey were you know, at 100% efficacy. There was almost zero incidents of COVID in the entire state. And I thought last summer was the most important summer I'd ever been a part of. I actually think this one is going to be more important. I talked to a CEO one time who told me that where there's demand, you find a way to meet it. Uh, is it possible you're going to open more camps because of this demand? It, you, you can't. Um, the, the, the licensing process and, the, and the, the process to get camp open is, you know, the regulatory process is very, very difficult. It takes a couple of years to do. So we're at a finite number. And I, I love that you're doing this, this piece because I would encourage parents, you know, get Get on a wait list now, get get to a camp now, get signed up now because a lot of people, and I get it, they're busy with work and school and they have all sorts of stuff on their heads. But if you don't get to get to one of the one of any camp really uh, now, you're probably gonna get shut out in May and June. You hundred percent sure you're gonna have these camps? Well, we we opened last summer under executive order from, from Governor Murphy. We are still under that order. Um, and we've gotten some initial, you know, preliminary guidance from the state. So the worst case for us is I think we're going to be opening under the same regs that we had last summer. Last summer, the actual operating procedures worked and everything was great. I mean, most camps operated at 100 percent with zero COVID. I think parents saw that. And this year, they're a lot more comfortable sending their kids and their kids desperately need it. You do know, and this might be an unfair question, but you do know that there are sp- Many schools, many school districts in New Jersey that are closed right now, that are mm-hmm. that are only going virtual. And here you are saying you're going to open no matter what. You're going to be able to open up. You worked with the state. You figured this out. Do you ever think to yourself, I can figure this out? Why can't the schools figure this out? Or is it? Completely- I feel like schools are in a very different place than us. We we were able to move, you know, ninety percent of our activities outside. Uh, We were able to put kids in smaller pods and make it work and keep, you know, we really designed these regs for camp. Now, when kids are inside 10 months a year and there's ventilation and all those other things to contend with, I think they have a different set of, of requirements. And I wouldn't, I don't feel comfortable even commenting on that. Uh, But, you know, I, I do know this. I mean, I feel that, that children desperately need the socialization and the opposite of play is not work for a child. The opposite of play for a child is depression. And kids need to get out and play. Well, you know what? It might've been an unfair question, but I love the end of your answer. So I'm glad I asked it. Thank you so much. Good luck this summer. I hope you get to stay open and I hope you're- It's not wood, it'll go great again. We're we're very excited. Is that wood? Yes, it's well, there's some wood. (laughs) 
Jonathan Gold, Executive Director of the New Jersey Camp Association. Coming up next on Jersey Matters. Remember spending your weekend in a place like this? We'll show you what the movie theater industry is doing to survive during the pandemic, coming up next on Jersey Matters.